A professor is removed from her classroom for the remainder of the semester. The Georgia State University professor is facing backlash tonight after she reportedly called police on two students. Why? Because they were late to class. As Fox 5's Brian Hill explains, a video detailing what happened has now been viewed hundreds of thousands of times on social media. The university tells me that professor is not in the classroom anymore to prevent disruptions. I spoke with a classmate of the two students involved who tells me her friends are still traumatized and that this type of incident cannot happen again. Both of the students, a woman and a man, started crying because they were so terrified of what could happen to them. Bria Blake posted this video on TikTok last week explaining what she says happened inside a Georgia State University classroom. Two black students had the police called on them today at Georgia State's perimeter campus in Newton County for being two minutes late to class. We sat down with Blake on Tuesday to discuss the incident. I was worried. I was angry. She tells us the professor who university officials identified as Carissa Gray asked the two students to leave, but they refused, allegedly saying they paid to be there. That's when Gray reportedly left, then returned with two campus police officers. Even though the professor herself is black, we know what happens when, you know, black people are confronted by police, especially when those police are white. A university spokesperson tells us the provost and chief of police met with the two students involved earlier this week. They went on to say that Professor Gray was removed from teaching the in-person classes so students could finish the semester with minimal disruption. As of right now, I don't think she should still be teaching at all in any classroom in any capacity. Blake says she hopes this situation is a learning lesson for everyone moving forward. The police are not to be used for frivolous matters. To to see Blake's full TikTok video, head over to our website, fox5atlanta.com. I did reach out to Professor Gray, but did not get a response. In Newton County, Brian Hill, Fox 5 News.